<clears throat> All right, YouTube, what is good? All right, so uh, I know it's been a while, but it is your boy, Kos. They, uh, they tried to ban me from Twitter, but, you know, they can't stop the king. So I am back. I am back. And I'm ready to get busy. All right, so. Sure, you've heard it by now. I meant to do this yesterday, but I was just too dang tired. Uh, they released this awesome, awesome trailer for the new Sultor expansion. I've been sort of slacking. I haven't been on Sultor in a while. I haven't really had time to do anything because uh, I've been slaving away, doing all this other stuff, uh, and it's just been driving me nuts. But my love for, for Star Wars and Sotor is still there, and honestly, I've seen some things. I've seen some. Ugh, I've seen some things from. Oh, great! From this, <laughs> looks like Star Wars theory has beat me to it. But you know, this is this is just my my honest reactions to this. Like I'm so hype about it. Like I just hope the only thing. All right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm going to talk about, about this because this seems like, okay, well, if the trailer can load first, then I, then I can actually talk about it, but it seems like they're trying to, uh, to set up like maybe Malgus as a new villain or like a hero. I don't know what they're trying to, trying to do with this. Uh, if Malgus is still the villain or if they're trying to make you question who is good and who's evil, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The action is there. So, I mean, you guys want to watch this trailer with me? Uh, here we go. What I saw last night. This is me just sharing with you my reactions. This looks pretty sick. They always outdo themselves with these trailers, honestly. Alright. Focus, Sahar. difficult to accept, but the Force has chosen you. Thank <laughs> you. 
she like tripping or something? Or will he be taking his children? Or memory? No. The brother shows little connection with the Force. Zahar, the Force has chosen you. This is how the Sith and Jedi maintain control, revealing the ways of the Force to some, and keeping it from others. Sahar! Don't listen to him! How many were left behind, so that the Jedi could play God? Give it to me. You could have saved my brother. What? Was I chosen by the Force? Or you? Now's not the time. <laughs> Do you know what it is your master just destroyed? Sahar, listen to me. A machine built to find those the Jedi didn't deem worthy. Silence! Give it to me. Now, Padawan! It's not too late. Give me the plans. No! We can still find your brother. I've only ever protected you. You must trust me. No! No! that I've seen from this guy. This girl doesn't stand a chance. All your life you've been in a cage, Padawan. When you're ready, break free. So now this is just full world, I guess, kind of awesome. So Malgus is just, he's tried to be his own emperor. He's tried to, unify, I guess, unify the galaxy under the Sith. You know, he's he's really ambitious, but it's just like, I guess this trailer shows a different side of Malgus that, you know, like he, I guess he realizes that both the Jedi and the Sith are kind of prisons. They're, or they, they keep people imprisoned. Um, they, they only seek to control like, like, mentally and spiritually in prison that's what i mean like they seek to control and and dominate but in their own different ways it's like even though the the jedi may appear all peaceful and all that uh i guess based on what he was saying there I, I guess he sees beyond jedi and sith now i guess is what i'm trying to say he sees beyond both uh what the jedi and sith have been doing uh, for the past forever, the past 25,000, 20, well, in this case, 22,000 years. So 
I mean, he's been around for 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 a lot, and he's seen a lot. He's seen a lot of battles, and at this point, I guess you know, after defeating him at the end of onslaught, well, in the middle of onslaught, uh, in that group flashpoint where you uh, were on the the republic side, you're you're a republic, uh, you know, character, and you're you're facing off against Malgus. Uh, or on the Imperial side, it's Tau, Adair. Um, and I guess on, for the Republic side, you could say that he's, he's not really, he, he's not really, it, he's not really loyal anymore to his, uh, to the Empire or the, the Empress. It was always kind of, kind of sus, really kind of sus when he came back and he was like, Oh yes, my Empress, I, you know, I'm totally loyal to you. Uh, really makes you think like what he's planning. Um, is he really, is he going to turn on the Empire again? Is he, is he, what is he up to? And, um, I think one of the, uh, the, the key factors that draws everyone back to um to Malgus is just that he's a Sith, but he's kind of found his own way. Um he's not really bound by this Sith philosophy. And I guess he, in in some ways he's more like his uh he's more Sith like than than he's he's more of a Sith than his uh compatriots or his uh, com, his so called companions because he's He's actively trying to uh, incorporate. He's he's following his passions, and he's trying to incorporate the alien races into the Sith Empire because that's what he passionately believes. Um, but he also notices the flaws of the Jedi. He he, he notices that the Empire is, is rigid and xenophobic, and it doesn't doesn't really care about aliens as much as it should. Uh, and he feel he tried to be an agent of change. Uh, but was shut down. He's kind of, I, I think he's kind of the reformist that the Sith Empire needs, but they likely won't take because they're too, they're, they're also too dogmatic dogmatic in their ways. And they don't like, uh, they don't like some, some guy trying to usurp the emperor. Uh, but now the emperor is officially dead. He is officially dead. So, I mean, whatever that machine was, I don't know what that was. I don't know if this trailer is trying to portray the Jedi as bad guys, uh, if they're trying to um, to shoehorn in some canon st- storylines where the Jedi are, are – um, um, e- the Jedi are just as evil in moral ambiguity. I don't, I don't know if they're trying to do that, but um, – so far, I mean, I was kind of impressed. I, I mean, I, I was I was impressed with the quality of, of the trailer, um, graphic wise. It it looked pretty interest. It looked pretty amazing. Um, they always wow you with the stuff, but story wise, I don't know what's going to be happening. Um, it only lets you in on so much. There was some kind of machine that they tried to destroy. Uh, this girl is conflicted over whether or not she should be with the Jedi or whether or not she should go to the dark side with Malchus. Malchus stole the holocron from the machine after it was destroyed, and the, and it has the plans for the machine. So whatever. So he's saying that it's some machine uh, used to track people that the Jedi don't don't want or something like that i I don't understand uh but the jedi are guided by the force anyway like they don't need the they don't need a machine to to find force users do i mean like they don't really need a machine i mean they they have people that go out and recruit i mean or, or look for force users you know and then the force guides them that's how it always was in Legends, um, you know, and, and especially if it was like a, an especially strong presence. Um, but I, I know they actually they they did go around taking kids from uh, from parents or kids from homes, being like, "Hey, like you're strong in the Force, come and join the Jedi. You don't really have a choice." <laughs> and so it, it was just like. 
I, I guess that um, that thing comes up when when he's he's leading her away from her brother, and the brother is so sort of shows his fate. He he's uh, I'm guessing this is Ryloth in the trailer. This is Ryloth in the trailer um, that they're above. Yeah, these two are above um, that were above in the trailer. Ryloth, where all the Twi'leks live. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, nice little detail. The boy has has ears, while the the female has like ear cones. So she's clearly already hurt. She already has her her leku has been one of her leku has been cut in half. But um, th this is probably Ryloth, uh, which is a desert desert planet, um, as well. But yeah, 